Hello, we are here with uh, Peter Phillips, the Finance Minister from Jamaica. Mr Phillips, thank you so much for being here today. Jamaica earlier this year signed an economic adjustment program with the IMF, the IDB and the World Bank. You just had the first review. How are things going and how is it affecting uh, average Jamaicans on the street? It's a, it is a difficult program for the population as a whole. Um, the program was made possible and because of a series of prior actions that were insisted upon by the fund that involved uh, wage restraint um, by public sector workers, it involved uh, um, a haircut and net present value for the bondholders of Jamaican securities and it has certainly involved um, major um, increases in tax revenue that has affected all the population. So it's been a difficult program. It has involved tremendous hardships for ordinary people. It is true that the pain does come before the gain, but we are expecting that we will begin to see the results in uh, greater levels of economic activity, greater levels of export activity, a, a, a contraction in, of our uh, balance of payments, deficits on current account, and that that the, the, the foundations um, of the economy should get stronger over time. I'm expecting that we will see a return to growth um, in the figures for the second quarter. But this is the issue that Jamaica has failed uh, programs before. And this program, though it's very front-loaded, it's still very, it has gaping vulnerabilities. I mean, how do you know that this isn't going to be thrown off course as well? I think it is the case that, that ourselves and indeed other small states uh, face considerable vulnerabilities in what is still a very fragile global environment, economic environment. There is always the, the, the almost certainty of climate related disasters occurring in the Caribbean um, each year during the hurricane season. We are going to be affected also by longer term um, developments in relation to climate change. And I think that increasingly, the good news of that is that increasingly, the international community and the multilateral um, organizations are recognizing that special attention needs to be paid to the circumstances of small states and in this instance to the circumstances of Caribbean states and that a rethink of the, di of, of the issue of how to speed up the growth dynamic in the Caribbean is also on the agenda for discussion. But yeah, I mean, lots of these small countries, small states, as you mentioned, are in the Caribbean. I and mean, the Caribbean itself seems to be trapped in a bit of an economic morass. I mean, what's the situation out there when you look at some of your neighbours as well? Well, I think one thing to notice is that the, the global crisis of 2008 has probably had the most severe and the most prolonged impact in the Caribbean. Uh, it, the, the economies are small in size and for the most part tourist dependent economies. Developments in the United States um, devastated these economies. Um, the tourism earnings went down sharply. Uh, debt rose, remittance flows were also affected negatively. And um, now there is a tremendous debt overhang. Probably about half of the CARICOM states have or are about to enter into an IMF adjustment program. Um, the only sure way out of this is growth. To return to growth is also going to involve fiscal consolidation. Certainly we in Jamaica accept the necessity of fiscal consolidation and fiscal prudence and indeed the establishment of such rules as we can to ensure that we never again have such a massive debt buildup that puts future generations through the, the travail that we have had to go through. 
of Finance Minister Phillips. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.